On this episode of Stock Tune Now, we're going to be working on the Front Fork Eternals. Spoiler alert, we don't do so good. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome to episode 8 of the Stock to Not Build series. Build series where we take a stock on the ground and turn something modified. I'm your host, Photogrammer. I have a fork in my hand. The reason I have this in my hand now and it's not on the bike is because this is actually after the episode got finished recording. So the patrons that join us in the live chat, they're well asleep. Um, everyone else is well asleep. I go to uh, put the, all the footage into the computer, look at it, and I get this. On this episode of Stock 2 Now, we're going to be installing these guys. So we were a little short-handed tonight, so I had some out-of-focus issues that I didn't catch until after the show on this camera. But good news is, I have a side camera that was recording the side of my face. On this episode of Stock 2 Now, we're going to be installing these guys. There it is. So I'm going to switch it over to that. I just want to let you guys know that's the reason why you're only going to be looking at the side of my face for this intro. I'm going to go to sleep now, enjoy the side of my face, and episode 8 of the Stock to Not Build series. Today, we're going to be working on the front forks. Full disclaimer ahead, we have no idea what we're doing. We watched one video and we have some instructions, but really no real knowledge on how to do this. So it's going to be a learning experience. Might be a little different than the previous videos, even though we didn't know what we were doing back then either, but that's okay. So today, Racing Bros hooked it up and Steady Garage hooked it up with some front internals uh, for our front forks here. So we're going to be pulling that thing apart, replacing it, and uh, yeah, kind of just learning as we go. So the format's going to be a little bit different on this episode. We're not going to go step by step on an instructional uh, episode, it's going to be more of like a time lapse and maybe I'll throw some overlays of text. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet, but you'll see in about five seconds. But it's going to be something different than previous episodes. Hopefully at the end of this episode, we have forks back on here and they're going to be wrapped white. Hopefully. If not, we might have to make it into two videos. The reason that we don't know what we're doing, or one of the reasons that we don't know what we're doing and we don't really have much confidence this week is Andrew, Mr. Dirt Bike Tricks, did this on our Hawaiian group ride. Oh shit, oh shit. So I'm not going to show you the full video, that will be in a future episode, future motor vlog, but he threw his back out, doing a little scrapey, a little loopy action, so unfortunately he's not here this week, so it's myself and none other than Mike can chug a Bud Light, yeah. except for this week we're not drinking. Not drinking. Yeah, we're totally sober this week, we don't know what we're doing. So we know we need a vice, so we installed that 10 minutes ago, we got the live chat behind us, if you guys aren't familiar with it, Patreon names down there are scrolling. These are people supporting the show directly. So again, this is going to be totally different. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're just going to cut here and get right into the front internals. Let me just show you them real quick. So they're kind of a mess right now, but they come in a box. Here's the box. You, you open the box, it looks better when you first get it. But there's, uh, there's the caps here, there's a spring hoodicky, there's a rod. There's probably different terms for these, but they come with parts. So basically, we got to put these inside those. We'll get there. All right, we're going to take a break from here, pick it up with a time lapse or something, but enjoy episode eight of Stock Tonight, where we attempt with fire to install front internal. So right now we've taken, we've loosened the top cap on the uh, forks. It's a 36 up top. You got to loosen it before you take it off the triple tree clamps. So we loosen up top. There's a little Allen key in there. We loosen that as well. Now we're just going to loosen all the bolts down below and we're starting to uh, drop the forks. So we got Andrew in spirit here with Dirt Bike Tricks. Should be good. Now what? We heat this up now or? I think I point this at you and slowly. <laughs> all right, we got the forks off. We're unscrewing the tops and it slid down. Now we're putting gloves on because it's oily in there. And I think somehow we get this top hex bolt off and do that. Dirt bike tricks, anything? Get a load of these too. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is spinning. Use vice grips and a towel. See if I can do it with this shitty ass GSXR pliers. All right. Flat earthers. Nope. Oh yeah, flat earthers. <laughs> All right, guys, as you guys can see right here, courtesy of Zeb's projects, he told us to grip that silver part like we were pissed off that the earth was flat and then put the ugga machine on the top and ugga dugga it and that worked. So we drained the uh, fork oil. We're moving on to the second one. 
Making progress here. Yes. Patrons, you guys are amazing. Woo. The dear leader approves. Alright, so there's a C clip right here that uh, we're gonna pop off. There she is. Alright, now's the fun time. We get to use fire for the first time. That's it. One more deuce. All right, we got fire. Very hot fire. Oh, fuck. <laughs> None. What does it say? Don't hold it upside down? Yeah. All right. The whole fork just caught on fire. Oh, nice. All right, so I don't know where you're supposed to heat this up, but somewhere back in here is Loctite. So if there's any left, I think we're going to loosen it up with this. All righty. Yeah. Sweet. All right, which wow, one? that bitch is smoking. Yeah, that way. There she goes, like fucking butter. Butter. All right, so apparently if there's no resistance, it's hot enough. And it's uh, righty Lucy on these guys, apparently. So. I don't want to get branded, so I want that bitch go. <laughs> <laughs> get branded with a <laughs> Serial number or yeah. something. <laughs> What'd you do last night? Well, <laughs> about that. Whoa, look at the corrosion on that guy. She's a, she's a steaming, but we got her off. Wow. And we got some corrosion on this guy, so we're gonna clean that guy off, let this guy cool down, and we're just gonna repeat it on the other side now. All right, guys, we were about to head to Walmart, but um, apparently Steady Garage and Racing Bros is one step ahead of everybody, and they include a 14 millimeter hex nut hoodicky socket, socket? socket sure anyway this guy in there so this is used over here mike can you rotate that so they can see no okay that's fine all right so anyway on the top it goes like so so it goes in there and we're gonna loosen that and then it pops <sighs> yeah that was satisfying was it yeah that was all right all right so once it's about to come off is when we'll hold it okay Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. There's the cap. A little washer that's kind of stuck on there. Wow. It's cool. Yeah. Ooh. Smells like it's been burnt. Yeah. Burnt oil. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably 200 degrees still. Out comes the springs. Into the trash they go. All right. So we figured it out. Mike, get down here. Get in. We figured it out. We're not moving the we're not moving the tripod. So we gotta pull. We gotta do this. We gotta take this. And you ready? <laughs> Here, just hold this guy. And we just we remove that. That's it. We just spent ten minutes to realize that we have to remove this. And then there's little little hoodickies with with things. Something about that being the rebound or vert compress. Anyway, something with the step being that way or the other way. But we're gonna save something. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go investigate this guy that little ring that's that's what we're saving and we're putting it on the new one which doesn't have a ring yet so i'm just going to spread it oh yeah there she is okay so we'll put the stock one down so i'm keeping the step down which is rebound i guess and i'm gonna slide her in the middle like so just like that Look at that. And then Mike perhaps said this thing, there's a rod that fell out. How'd you get it in there? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking pterodactyl. There's a there's no shit a pterodactyl <laughs> flying here, guys. Call Jurassic Park. It came out of nowhere. Fucking thing's gonna carry us away. Where's the torch? Oh, good call. Let's fucking kill this motherfucker the American way. Have you ever seen uh have you ever seen uh Life? Where the fucking the little thing where they go to Mars, Ryan Reynolds, that goes in his mouth and the oh, fuck yeah. yeah. That's what we're dealing with right now, people. We got a huge mosquito. We're trying to kill it with fire. We'll be back. All right, we're turning this off. We're gonna continue the show. It's around here somewhere. All right, one thing that we uh, figured out off camera was there's this little rod that comes with it. Um, there it is. We've, Mike's discovered, bring it up higher, here it is. This rod goes inside said arm. When you twist it with the cap on, it's gonna adjust the compression or rebound or whatever it is that makes it, 
Nyquist. So you twist it, it sits somewhere in there, and then it starts moving. There it is, so it kind of locks in place. It's it really short, so that's when it's locked in. And then we're gonna put the cap on once we put the screw or the spring on as well. So I think we moved to the spring, right? Yep. All right. This episode is sponsored by Steady Garage. We got the Racing Bros and Racing Bros. We got the front internals and the rear from Steady Garage. Uh, the technician there, Brian, I'm trying to get him on Instagram. He's done this before. We're kind of confused on where the spacers go. We can probably figure it out if he doesn't reply, but I'm hoping he joins us in the live chat. That would make things a lot easier. Uh, we're going to try to figure it out while we're waiting. The mosquito is uh, still flying on around too, so our legs are starting to itch. All right, we'll be back hopefully with uh, better news. All right, Brian at Steady Garage just got back to me. We're correct with our assumption on the way it goes, so we're good to go. So thank you, Brian, Steady Garage. Thank you, you guys are amazing. So we now have confirmation we're correct. So use this as your guideline. I don't think there's any other video out there how to install these guys. So we might not be the best at it. We're definitely not the best at it, but at least we're showing you what you kind of have to do. I'm gonna put the picture up, we'll do that. Here's the picture, this is how it has to go. Again, the washers that come with it are only for the 17, 18 grom. So if you have a 14, 15 grom, this video is specific to you. If you have a 17, 18 grom, I have no idea where the washers go, but uh, I don't know, <laughs> you'll figure it out. But 14, 15 grom, this is how it works. All right, so you take your hoodicky, you shove it in, um, spiky side last, so rod in first, the rod comes through, you kind of have to hold it straight, wiggle it in to get it through the little hole. Making sure not to break the seal here, but um, you can kind of probably not at all see, in, yeah, you can't at all inside there, but the, uh, the grippy part is now facing up, the rod now coming out. We're gonna put our C-clip right there to keep it from backing out. So Mike's just taking a screwdriver and here, maybe I can open it and you can um, push down. This little C-clip here, I'm just going to spread it. Mike's going to push down, and hopefully that'll work. Okay. Right, we got to pass the threads here, so just so you guys can see what we're doing. we got to get it from here to this little groove here. Okay. There we go. All right. Once you get it past that little ridge, it's probably pretty easy just to slide it down. There you go. Slides right in that little groove. Pretty simple. All right, that one's good. So it should not back out now, right? Yeah. All right, now it doesn't back out. So what? All right, guys, we got the cap on. So I just hand tighten it down. Now we have this guy. Remember this little guy? So we put the spring in. Boing. Now we take our little washer, pressing down, take our big, uh, Big hoodicky here. We got our washer. Let's get this guy started. America. Okay. Hey yo! We got a fork, dude. That feels like a fork. Back. We just took the ugga dug into this. I don't know how you're supposed to clamp it. There's probably a way that we didn't do it, but it's just a front fork. I mean, yeah, it's nothing. nothing. All right, change of plans. We took uh, the cap back off. We're going to put our clamp in, and then we're going to put a couple ugga duggas on this guy. We might even torque it down. I don't know. Let's not get crazier. And then we're going to put the top on, tighten that guy down. We're getting there, guys. Now we should be able to take our 14 hex and torque it down. All right, 22 foot-pounds torque. We're going with this guy. Okay, 22. All right, 22 foot-pounds. What do you know, we're already there. <laughs> we're probably at like 800. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, we're good, 22 foot-pounds. Applying some red Loctite to this guy. So, lefty tighty in this case. A little hand torque there. 15-ish. Yeah, let's take it out of this guy. It works. If I were to give this away, I would have to sign a huge liability release. Oh, <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Fucking thing over. <laughs> Whole thing just falls apart. All right, guys. So um, we just got off the phone. Andrew, Dirt by Tricks. 
kind of got an idea what we got to do now. So we got everything reassembled. We now have a gaping hole in here. We got to fill with oil. So we have one pint, which equals 470 some odd milliliters. Stock is 220. The only thing I have in my house that has milliliters on it, shocker, is a baby bottle. So sorry, Jacqueline. This is probably, I don't know. They're not cheap, but we'll keep this one in the garage. So this goes up to 270. So I'm going to fill it to 220. You can see I got milliliters here. So I'm going to try to fill it to right about there. We're going to fill, pump, fill, pump, fill, pump. And then eventually it should stop making a gurgling sound. It is uh, midnight right now. Midnight plus five minutes. <sighs> Stock to not, baby. Going for 220 here. Why is this clear? Okay. <laughs> the other one was red, but we got whatever. That's pretty close. That feels like a lot more than half, but okay. So shout out to the live chat, the Patreon still here, Zab Fab. How Josh does it, Jason's in here. Shout out to the late nighters, it's midnight plus seven minutes. Bottoms up, all right. All right. Brandon's in here as well. Matthew, Matthew, what's up, man? Go to bed. All right, I'm pouring in. So basically, I'm supposed to get in the, the hole. That's the goal. All right, so I put in about 20 milliliters and it kind of gets right to the top. All right, he's pumping it. <laughs> Yep. This is not awkward at all. <laughs> well, if, you're, if you weren't sitting down, it wouldn't look like this. All right, he's pumping it, and uh, you know what to do, live chat. Send the snaps. What's weird is this feels about right. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural. All right, we're ready. All right, so he gave it a good, uh, I don't know, 10 pumps? At least 10, 15 thrusts. <laughs> We gotta keep uh we gotta keep filling her up. Stop jiggling, stop jiggling man. Keep her fucking steady, you amateur. Never gonna be a fluffer with this type of handling. Oh yeah. So what we gather from dirt bike tricks is once it stops making that gurgling sound, you're good. Um and then you should start seeing some that just kinda stays in this little cylinder here. Got about 130 milliliters in there right now. So if we don't get it right here, can we open this back up without taking it off the bike and just fill it up, just top it off? It's now firm going up on this guy. So when you, when you push it up, she's pretty firm. So we think we're close, so we're gonna lock this one up. So we used about 250 milliliters on this guy. We're gonna tighten this guy, move on to the next one, repeat the process, and then we're gonna wrap these guys. We put the cap back on, so we just ugly ugly this guy. Might give it a little press. So she's feeling, yeah, she's feeling like she's got a, she's firm. She's firm. We're gonna use some simple green on the uh, the fork here, and then we're gonna wrap it with white and put it back on the bike and do the same with the other side. Oh my god, this is fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so defeated. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> what time is it? It's fucking a quarter to one. This is what we're working with here. This is what we're working with at 12.45 in the morning on a Wednesday night. We got one fork done. The other forks and pieces behind me. The wrap job is not getting done. We're going to call this one an episode. This has gone long enough. We're tired. Um, we're just making a mess here. This wrap job is harder than I thought it would be. So um, we're going to take a break. We're, we're just going to call this an episode. But this one's good. This one's solid. Um, we got to still assemble the second fork. So this is what? Compression. we got to assemble the rebound fork. And we need more oil, so i got to order that. Um, and then we got to spend more time with this wrap job. <laughs> Mike's not going to be able to sleep at night on this one. I love it. All right, guys. We're going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed episode eight, <laughs> if, you enjoyed, if you enjoyed episode eight, leave a like down below. I know it's not a complete install, but it was harder than we thought. Um, shout out to Steady Garage and Racing Bros for uh, the shock and uh, <laughs> the internals. But, no, seriously, shout, shout out to the live chat, everyone that joined us and helped us out. Brian from Steady Garage, thank you for uh, answering some of our questions. Good build. 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna end the episode here. We'll pick it up with episode nine. We're probably gonna jump into uh, nine. We're probably gonna jump into starting to work on the engine, but we'll have the forge complete by then. We're gonna do them offline. I'll give you a little summary on episode nine on how we completed it. If we ran into anything uh, additional that we didn't cover in this, but hopefully you guys got some knowledge out of that. Kind of saw what it takes to get into this. So the tools you need to assemble this. Um, Leave a like down below. Let's go ahead and talk about Taco Bell. All right. You guys have a great morning, Saturday morning. We're going to Taco Bell. Have a great night. night.